All right. Yeah, I got to go um, to that members only tour of uh, part of the World War I uh, exhibit. Um, I think it, they call it gallery tour or whatever at the Canadian War Museum. And uh, for dessert, as I said to Zoe afterwards, I went with my daughter. Um, she had a good time. Well, we both did. It was real. I really, really enjoyed the lecture or, or the or the walk. I mean, obviously, I just was just like, oh my god, this is amazing. And you can tell the, um, yeah. I mean, just the way. I mean, it's just to me. I said to Zoe afterwards, I was like, my god, now she's going off to go and do some research. Uh, just like wow, you know, it's just impressive. Yeah, and there was a lot of people. They were saying um, they were really. Um, surprised at how many people were um, at the lecture and you know they gave us our little headphones and off we went and followed her around and she showed us things and then after that I was like now it's time for dessert we're going to the uh, used bookstore I also went to the um, the gift shop and got some stuff there but I'll take I'll show you what I got at the uh, used bookstore not as much as I thought I was going to get but um, I still went nuts I mean I, and it was interesting the, the book guy goes would you, do you want a bag for that I'm like it's not my first time here man so I was like, uh, no, I'm well versed. I bring, I, uh, I overbag basically. So the only thing that's going to stop me is just physical. Um, I'm just not able to lift everything. That's it. And then there's always, uh, you know, taxis and whatnot. So, but I didn't go, down, didn't have to go down that road. So here's uh, actually one of the very last books that I did see. Um, sorry about the glare. I just noticed that. I'll try to see if I think that's just going to be a glare spot, and I'll try to. Uh, Maybe get away by or or I can do this. That's what we can do. Let's see if that works. A little bit. Anyways, I can get rid of that and then we can go from here. So this is the first one. Um, oh, sorry, the last one. Uh, one of the last books I took a look at, and I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, look at this, Zoe. I think this could help help me and everybody else. Uh, a subject. Well, obviously up to 1978. But um, I don't know if you can be able to see that, but. Uh, it uh, just shows like, you know, uh, uh, well, it's obviously a bibliography and then it got, it's, it was like, wait a minute, that's exactly kind of what we want to do anyways with um, uh, the live stream is, um, you know, all of us um, uh, chime in and uh, start adding to a bibliography. So I was like, oh, wow, this would be good. Um, this book here, I was like, are you kidding me? This is, uh, well, The Price of Glory, uh, Glory of Ardan, 1916 by Alistair Horne. And this is a book that uh, Wesley Livesay suggested a few weeks ago uh, when I was listening to part one of his 13 uh, podcast uh, episodes of um, The Battle of Verdun. So I thought that was neat. Um, War ain't, I mean, I'm just into this type of stuff. I was saying to Zoe, I just quickly, look, uh, you know, I was like, yep, it's a good title for me. I'm going to go, I'm going to go with it that way. Um, yeah, I'm just into this type of stuff. I want to find out like what's going on in the in the back rooms or you know what was going on in people's heads. That's why I was also talking about uh, you know f trying to find out about the diplomatic efforts uh, to stop the war and so on and so forth. Uh, this is the very first book I saw actually uh, when I got in. I went, you know, you're coming home uh, because you'll be um, uh, a counter or like uh, well another source of information for me uh, uh, beyond just the the Great War in Africa and other uh, the other little tidbits that I get um, from other you know other sources. Now there was two Douglas Haig books that I did see. One was uh, I'm, I'm glad I read the back this or uh, read the backs of both of these. Uh, the other one I wanted to get I think was called Haig. Um, Reexamined or something like this or re uh, the uh, reassessment. I think that's what it was. Uh, and in the uh, the you know the the, the book uh, the book uh, cover notes, um, I was just like, no, that seems a little too. Um, the guy just like I said, eviscera um, just goes nuts against uh, Haig, and I was like, no, I don't want that much. I, I would like uh, you know just don't don't go too much about that way. Like so, anyways, this guy supposedly. Um, it, it, tries to be unbiased, so that'll be interesting. Um, yet again, the meaning of the First uh, World War. This name, just, there's something about it. I was like, I've seen that name before, so I was like, I better pick this up. Uh, this book, uh, Zoe, uh, saw, we saw two, a few copies of it. Uh, well, Zoe just said, uh, this looks kind of interesting, so I was like, okay, I'll pick it up. Um, that's all I know. I don't know anything else about it. Um, like I said, this is just gonna be a quickie. I'm just gonna. Well, it's the way I do things. <laughs> the strategy of victory. Uh, like I said, another one, but this one, um, Sir William Robertson. I, I said to Zoe, I think this is the dude that um, started uh, from a soldier and went all the way to field marshal. And I was like, field marshals are more important than flipping normal generals, man. I was trying to, you know, so that I was like, that could be it. I'm not. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> 
at some point. This one was like, uh, well, it was an amazing shape. Uh, biplanes and bomb sites, British bombing in World War I. Um, yeah, I was just like, okay. It's no pictures or anything, but it was uh, uh, the quick stuff that I was looking at from the text and whatnot. I was like, okay, yeah, you're, you're going to be uh, good stuff to read. Uh, I mean, come on. Sorry, I'm just taking a sip of coffee here before it gets cold. I hate co a cold coffee. Oh, thank you. It's the first coffee since my nap. Uh, narrative of the Battle of uh, Jutland. And it was neat. The, the bookseller uh, said, um, he goes, uh, oh, that one's finally going. It's been here a long time. And I said, yeah. And I said, actually, I know somebody that uh, it just goes on and on. Like the lion by 354, it alerted course some four points to starboard parallel to the enemy. I don't know any of that type of stuff. But I was thinking when I saw this, I went, oh, my God, I know somebody... Uh, well, McMurray, I know, would probably lose his marbles, uh, and maybe already has uh, this stuff in triplicate or what have you. Um, but I was like, yeah, that's something you would probably uh, appreciate more than I would. Um, and then this one is a naval history of World War I, and this looks good. Um, really good. Like, it gets on, and it's not just the regular, everyday sh uh, stuff. Sorry if you can't really... Well, I guess I'll watch this video again if it's really, really bad. I'll... Uh, um, like even by my standards, I'll stop it. And then these little guys, um, yeah, I had to haggle with him a little bit. I was like, excuse me, uh, you know, I'm not paying, f uh, you know like, I'm like, no, I'm not paying five bucks a book for these little dinky things. I was like, no, not having it. But uh, yeah, so it's yet again more of this. But this one is actually not as um, detailed as some of these ones, like the Alp, so I've got the, the DH2 as well. It's these ones, the profile publications. Um, and then there's uh, uh, this one here, HD1, sorry, and the Vickers, that looks pretty hot, like a, I think they said 1917, late 1917 they came out, it was the Albatross when I saw this one, I was like, holy moly, oh, it's Modeler's Reference Series, okay, now I'm cluing in, as I said to Zoe, I said, there's something fishy going on here, I was like, there's something, this is almost like a, uh, reminds me of, um, you know, knitting patterns and so on and so forth. I was like, there's something fishy going on here, but uh, so it looks like I guess you could um, make a paper, you know, or well, whatever model, I guess. Um, no, actually, that's a magazine I just brought uh, to read. Uh, and now we'll go off into the uh, the gift shop stuff. And yeah, I bought a bit of some jewelry. I always noticed that it was like this little thing. It's not in the baggies, I guess it's probably better. It's actually getting darker and, well, right around dusk. Actually, I won't. I don't think I, yeah, it's getting too long here now. Hold on. Should, there, so. This one's a 1914 and 1918 100 pin. And then I've got these. I'll try, hopefully, there's not too much glare. Yeah, it's not bad. So that's a, a lapel pin, I guess, or something. I wanted something like this I could wear all the time. The first one I got was this one. Um, it's like a paper a poppy or whatever. I like that one. And then this one I picked up, uh, Zoe was like, oh, she actually spotted it. And I was like, okay, I might as well grab it. It's 11th hour, 11th, you know, blah, 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 that type of thing. But I was actually, the, the first things I wanted to get, because I'm going to start wearing some uh, earrings again. I haven't, uh, oops, I haven't, put in my ear, I haven't put in earrings in ages. And I was like, uh, I did notice that they did have some poppy earrings. So I was like, okay, you're coming home. Now this, I saw at the very end, I was just, yeah, I could probably buy it at half the price uh, that I was there. But it was a make your own music box kit. And I went, what? Are you kidding me? Um, are you t telling me that I can take a lot of my tab notes and whatnot and uh, transcribe them into these little music sheet paper things and start um, having World War I tunes with me at all times? Are you out of your tree? Uh, which means uh, it's a ready-made uh, tin whistle uh, um, um, tutorial thing, for uh, like a side-along thing to help me out. I can just play the little tune and, oh my god, I'm happier now. Thank you. Uh, the first thing I did see at the gift shop, though, I was like, what? Finally! Because I was like, come on, man, it's always World War II, everything. Uh, is they've uh, got a jigsaw puzzle. Uh, a thousand pieces is going to be brutal for me, and this does not look like a very kind of interesting puzzle to put together. You know, like, I'm, I prefer a lot more, you know, whatever, but uh, tough. Once this gets done, I'll, be, I'll put it on the wall. That's for sure. Uh, and these were interesting little books that... Uh, uh, was that it? Yeah, we're getting pretty close to it. So this one, I'm glad I spotted at the very uh, practically when we were leaving. It's called "Amazing Time Travel Adventures of the Canadian Fearless Four. And in this episode or this book, is uh, they go off to the Battle of Vimy Ridge, and the D-Day invasion. Oh, so it's two of them. Okay, not the end of the world for me. Um, oh, I will say this though. I was um, 
was it when I got up for my first nah, uh, just a little while ago started thinking about mobile war warfare a little bit um, I was like oh, I may have to start learning a bit about World War two and whatnot I'm trying to figure uh, it's a long story part of the thoughts in my head are if fallen fallen away unfortunately uh, we'll come back but I've, I've got to focus on this uh, I am ca I am Canada fire in the sky I um, I don't know what's going on with this book it seems to be is it part fiction part like I don't is it based on a, a real person and then you went and, and go off I don't know but it was in the children's section perfect for me I can tell you that much I was like okay I'm gonna read this um, for sure then I picked up two of these um, oops Sorry, Deadly Skies, Air War, 1914-1918. Uh, I didn't really realize what they were. Um, one of them, I'm going to send them off to um, um, somebody's kids. So, and maybe they'll uh, enjoy reading a comic. I don't know. We'll see. But look at this. Join Canada James Moses, a warrior of the Six Nations Confederacy, as he moves from the trenches to the sky. I was like, okay, I can deal with that. So that's it. I had a darn good time. Um, yeah, I'll talk about it later. Uh, there was some really f uh, fascinating things that uh, helped me out, um, um, uh, you know, get some stuff into my head about, uh, well, piece together more and more things. That's for bloody sure. Anyway, so hopefully that uh, this was somewhat enjoyable. Okay, hope you're having a good one. See you.